This video demonstrates how to use Macro Express to read the contents of a text file and insert the data into another application. The ASCII text file command is a much quicker and more reliable way to transfer data than a strict copy and paste routine. In this case, the macro reads directly from the file and instantly inserts the results into the receiving application. There's no need to switch back and forth between programs, copying from one and pasting to another. Beforehand, we created a sample.csv file for use with this macro. It contains some zip code data from the state of Utah. There are seven records on each line of the file, each record separated by a comma. Okay, let's get started by clicking on Macros Add Macros to open the Add Macro window. Hotkey is already selected and the blinking cursor is located in the edit box. Next, hold down the Control key, the Shift key, and the Z key all at the same time and then release them. Control shift z is now listed in the edit box. This is the hotkey we will use when playing back the macro. Click on the scripting editor button to start building the macro. In the scripting editor, first click on the properties tab and enter process zip code data in the nickname field. The nickname helps to remind us later what the macro does. Next, click on the Scope tab and make sure Global is checked. Global is the default option and means that the macro will start in any program when the hotkey is pressed. Now we'll click on the Script tab to write the macro. Find the Files Folders category and double click on the ASCII File Begin Process command. Click on the Browse button and find the CSV file to be processed. Select the file and click Open to see it listed in the file name edit box. Since we are processing a comma delimited text file, we will select this file type, which also happens to be the default format. Leave the Start Processing on Record value set to 1. This instructs the macro to start processing the first line of the CSV file. Make sure the Process All Records option is selected. This ensures that all lines of the file are processed. We'll use variable t1 to begin storing the values from the text file. This means that the first field or record on line 1 is saved to t1, the second record on the line to t2, the third to t3, and so on. Click OK to save the changes and return to the scripting editor. Now let's open the text category. Double click on the text type command to open the edit window. We want the macro to type the first six records of each line into WordPad. The seventh record will be ignored. To do this, type %t1% in the Enter Keystrokes edit box to instruct the macro to play back the value saved to variable t1. Copy %t1% and paste it so that we have six entries, one for each of the six records that we want to use from the text file. Next, edit each of the pasted entries so that the second entry shows percent %t2%, percent, the third one t3, and so on. Click OK to save and return to the scripting editor. OK, return to the Files Folders category. Double click on the ASCII File In Process command to place it at the end of the script. This step closes the loop. All commands listed between the ASCII file begin process and the ASCII file end process commands are repeated until each line of the text file has been processed. Click on File Save to save the macro, then click on Macro Explorer to view the list of macros. Now we'll see how the macro works. First open WordPad and press Control Shift Z to run the macro. It is not necessary to first open the text file in order to read the data from the file. As you can see, the text is entered into WordPad just as we instructed it to. It processed each line of the text file and placed the records in WordPad. This macro is a simple example of what can be done using the process and ASCII text file command. For example, when entering records into a database, choose which variables to insert and in what order or add tabs to move from field to field. Update the record in the database, wait for the window to refresh, insert the second line of the text file into the database, and so on. The possibilities are limitless, 
not to mention the improved accuracy and tremendous time savings. Well, this concludes our Process and ASCII text file video. We hope that it has provided you with ideas for using this feature to increase your own productivity.